Hey Periscope, so we've got, uh, <clears throat> if a lot of you guys were watching, last night uh, my son Jackson and I were at the Minnesota Wild game and today I'm just going to give you a very quick tip. This is just a great example. Um, make your hashtags public. Uh, one of the greatest wins in social media is when you get your customers and your followers to do your social media work for you. So why not use that great tool Twitter has called hashtags and put people to work for you. Yesterday, I was at the Minnesota Wild game. We're sitting in the club level. We're watching. Things are awesome. And then all of a sudden on the big screen during a TV timeout, pictures from inside the stadium were going up and flipping through. And they all had the hashtag MNWild on the bottom. And I was like, that is so cool. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we took a couple of pictures, selfies, one of uh, my son and I, and we got up on the board and it was pretty sweet. So he thought it was super cool that he was up on the big screen at a big hockey game in front of 20,000 people and uh, it was a great PR win for the Minnesota Wild. I mean, why not? What a, what a great thing to be able to touch the young hockey players, um, you know, in, in a way like that that gets them fired up about coming. They're the future of the franchise anyways. They're the ones who are going to buy the tickets. They're the ones who are going to come. Why not get them at a young age hooked and, and experience what a cool thing the hockey game was? So uh, that's a quick tip. Use your social media in a way that engages other people to do the work for you. That is the point of going viral anyways. Uh, what a fun thing that the Minnesota Wild did. Uh, if you're watching, you guys did a great job. Thank you so much. Sorry you lost last night, but you know, what do you do? It was a bad line change in overtime and uh, the old Minnesota team took advantage of it. So thanks so much for watching. We will talk to you guys later and bye bye